right, it is Sunday the 28th, last day is spring year two. And the Queen of Sauce has a new recipe for us today. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish is Lucky Lunch. Old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to the spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. And that writing reminds me of some Polish lady I work for. Weird. I have done work for it. You learn how to cook a lunky, l a lunky lunch. <laughs> Let's go check out the lunky lunch. Why not? You can find it amongst all the other garbage we've learned how to cook. Farmer's lunch. A sea cucumber, a tortilla, and a blue jazz. Huh. So that's something. That's I think that's the first thing we've found that we could do with sea cucumbers. That sounds disgusting to eat a sea cucumber, though. Um, tortilla, you make those out of corn. And blue jazz. I don't know why you'd be putting a flower in there. Must be good, though. But three luck. And our kale is finished. Should have quite a bit, I would imagine. We'll check the rest of the uh, fields once we get done with the animals. Hello, my pets. So many of you. Just gotta kind of run for, <laughs> run through you all and Muhammad Jihad hugs. That's right, Mother Clucker. I love you too. Oh, we've got a new diamond as well. Out of the way, bunny. Butter and energy is good, but I've seen much better. Oh, and our <laughs> our Zeitgeist chicken grew up. And what the fuck? I broke the gate. Oh no, not the gate! You guys stay back. Now oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he doesn't look happy either. That's one evil looking chicken. That just reminds me of poultry guys, I guess. I don't even know if they had like a Satan chicken or a demon chicken in it though. I don't think so. But I know there were some crazy ass chickens in it. Alright, we shouldn't need any more uh, mushrooms. Or, we shouldn't have any more mushrooms, I should say. They need to cut, cut all this grass down too. It's starting to get out of hand. Especially when I'm trying to harvest from our orchard. There we go. Much better. Void mayo? I don't know. Or is that what it is? A void chicken? That so looks fine. That so is just being greedy. But the goat looks sad and is giving us milk for whatever reason. Fuck you, rumpus. You want to live here? You're going to pay rent one way or another. Now give me them tits. Paul Mazda. God damn it, Paul Mazda. I keep misclicking. There we go. Give me that chocolate milk. Yeah. 
Sad goat giving large goat milks. This goat ain't giving his shit, though. Except for Grandpa's grave. Wait, two and two. All right. Uh, two large goat milk, two regular, and two regular cow's milk. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, indeed. Now, I might sell some of these star fruit to offset the cost for the next batch of seeds that we're going to get. Check something there real quick. Because I know how much the seeds cost offhand. But I want to see how much the star fruit themselves bring in. Even show up. Just gonna. Have I not sold them before by themselves? I don't think I have. Which might explain why it's not unlocked for me. I think it's right there. So, uh, we might have to go visit here then. I know we still have to go see the uh, crazy trader lady. Nineteen good ones. Oh wow, the star fruit on them on their own at plus two hundred and twenty-five energy. That's ah, sexy. All right, get the egg and milk going. Yeah, why Pi is blessing us with his presence today. Almost got a stack of 200 cherries. Diamond. Um, I'll get that bait later. Let's go see the trader lady. Ooh, looks like we got more stuff to harvest on our way back as well. Shit. I mean, and on top of all that, I still got to go see Pierre. We'll do the rest of the harvesting when uh, we get back in the evening. Yeah, we need to go straight to Pierre's after we leave her. All right, lady. Oh, an apple. I need three apples, though. So that's not exactly going to help me. The rabbit's foot will, though. I mean, I just got rabbit's foot, but I'll be able to. I'll be able to finish that uh, that package, though. That collection. Or not the whole collection, but the bundle. Shit. Don't need another... I'm pretty sure oil of garlic is something else I need, too. Rabbit's foot and pomegranate. Pomegranate, I'm... I don't know when I'm going to get that. Summer or fall, whenever it's in season next. Three apples, so buying an apple is going to be kind of useless for me right now. Oh, and the chef already got his maple syrup. I don't need those either. So I guess I don't need it. Never mind. Just got some poppy seeds. Which I know I can already get at Pierre's during the summer. Don't worry about it. I think oil of garlic would have went into uh, artisan, artisan goods. But I finished it up with some other ingredients first. I'll do this tonight. There's oil and garlic, right? <clears throat> Place is popping again, damn it. Oil and garlic, right? Right. I can't make the oil machine. Or... Hmm. I guess I don't use that. Okay, I got a couple trees growing up here. All right, let's go see Pierre. Help 
wanted. I'm looking for 740 copper ores. Yeah. No thanks, Clint. I've got other things I gotta take care of first. In the graveyard. Maybe a wicked ghost would appear. We should introduce uh, Abigail to old Krobus or whatever the hell his name is down there. That'll be able to offset the, the offset the cost. Get out of here, garlic. Nobody likes you. Twenty-five thousand, eleven thousand, and four thousand uh, gold coins worth of star fruit on us at the moment. I'm going to be saving quite a bit of it. How many seeds worth was that? 24 seeds, or 34 seeds. Eight thousand, twelve thousand. 12,000. Um. So for those, that should be good. So 34, and that should have left us with 30. Uh, yeah, let's not forget the horse. Let's, um, it's not too late. We'll go out to the desert real quick. We need to get some more uh, seeds. I think we're going to pick up 12,000 worth. Low leak. We'll get us more, th uh, 30 more, 30 more seeds, damn it. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not getting mugged. We're not even going to give those damn mummies a chance. I do like, however, uh, how Pam is basically forced to stay, <laughs> stay out in the desert until you're ready to go home. There's no returning for her. Not before then, anyhow. I know I've seen that. I know I've seen that game somewhere. I just can't remember where. It basically looks like Killing Floor 2 in space. And you know what? I wanted to bring her some ice cream, but she sells it. So. Ah. Is that ain't gonna be happening? Thirty more star fruit. Thank you. I'm glad you can't hurt yourself by running into cacti. That's my favorite pastime. Your loyal horse patiently waits for your return. Come, Sarah Jessica Parker, to the farm. I guess we could be selling those. I don't exactly need the syrups or anything for anything else. Unless I want to make something out of them, like one of the totems, but I don't think that's going to happen. Besides, we're going to have a pretty steady s supply of tar and syrup and whatnot. Yeah, where, or who brought it up? I think it was Plunk who brought it up. Get my grandma thinking about it the um in the summer or the end of the season you really should be able to buy next season seeds on the last day of the previous one Ugh. i guess it doesn't matter too much because you still got shit you gotta clear out and uh organize before the next day are we gonna well, that this should all still be there 
It'll be fine. And we have the special seed. with a few plots left. Yeah, I think when all these cakes finish up, we're gonna move them inside, maybe. There'll be other things we can move inside anyways. Hell, if we run out of room inside, we can move cakes out. May as well start without and work our way in then. So never mind. It's it's fine, everybody. It's uh, I, I it's done. It's done. But I do want a box out there now. That way we have a place to store our star fruit and seeds if we end up getting too many for the greenhouse at once. Kegs, damn it. Clay, copper, iron. Hell, we can do that. I have to chop down some more trees and smelt some more iron, but. We've got clay. Iron. And end up transmuting some copper and iron, too, from the looks of it. Since we're going to be needing lumber, let's go chop some down. I know we can find some trees down there. Yeah, I do have one of the fruit to seeds seed machines. I have absolutely no sympathy for any of these fucking mosquito in here. I have no sympathy for any of these pine trees. Ah! Like how it's, uh... <laughs> My weather around here is so crazy. A few days ago, it was below freezing. Now it's like 60 degrees and there's goddamn mosquitoes flying around. Oh, we're going to oversaturate, oversaturate, uh, oversaturate the farm lane with more pine trees even. I don't care if it's in a valid position, we'll find a good one. There we go. Well, pine trees basically forced the other two tree types into extinction on our farm over, la over the course of last year, but it'll be fine. And I forgot to even finish harvesting. Shit. It'll be fine. happy to see cauliflower too though to be honest I'm surprised you don't actually see a lioness on your farm or catch them like in the middle of the night trying to <laughs> eat some of your plants
All right, the beanstalks, you're on your own. Hope you burn in hell. Even though I got a shitload of seeds for you, I'd, I'd never want to see you beanstalks again. I'm loving this lamp, it's so bright. Oh, we're going to need that clay, which we've got a ton of now, which is great. Um, yeah, let's go see if we can make a few more kegs. Probably going to have to transmute a piece of copper to be able to make a even five. I think that's how it... No, we need two more. Never mind. Oh, and it doesn't take two each either, so that makes things easier. Give me all the kegs! And we'll be back for more. These kegs are definitely going to have to go inside. Well, I could put some of them down that side. I'm not going to bother, though. Maybe I should have put it further down in the room. I really would like to be able to rotate items in this, too. That would be nice. All right, let's get these cakes started with some star fruit. Oh, don't eat that, please. For the love of God, don't eat it. I did go back and look at that in the... <laughs> actually, in the collections. Still don't see it. I thought that was it right there. Apparently not. Oh well. And we probably could go ahead and sell our batch of cherries now. We're not going to need them. Um... Well, I guess that depends on if you need, if you can make star fruit jelly. We haven't tried that yet, but I mean, we could do like half the batch or we're definitely not going to need 179 of them. Not a hundred percent sure if my memory is correct on it, but I could have swore when I last year when I made star fruit wine. Oh yeah, I definitely made it into wine last year. I'm pretty sure I got a. I don't know why, but I keep thinking it was 2,400. Unless I didn't make one and I just threw it in the box. My memory would be really shitty then. Jesus. All right. Yeah, it's getting late. Let's go. It's time. It's definitely time. I didn't even hand any gifts out today, which is too bad. Good end of the season harvest. I mean, it's okay. It definitely do better. It'll do, though. So many blueberries are coming up. 